Hi, I'm Tracy from Riding Warehouse and today we're going to talk about what to bring to an endurance ride for your horse. We get lots of calls about this subject, so I've gathered a few of my favorite items to show you today. So first off, it's good to know where you're going on your endurance ride. So this map pocket is really helpful to place your map into. It's waterproof and it also holds some other items as well. I like to have a highly shock absorbing pad for my horse that has um, open cell foam or some type of foam in it that will protect his back and a nice soft underside as well that I, I'm sure is clean as I'm riding so that he doesn't get any rubs as we're going along the trail. I also like to ride with a cantle pack and in my cantle pack I like to carry um, a yacht rope halter and I use a tailing line as my lead rope because they both wad up really nicely into the pack. I also like to w use um, a lightweight jacket that's rainproof and that can also stuff in here as well. Next I'd like to talk about sheepskin saddle covers. They're very plush and they keep you comfortable on those long rides. Rump warmers are a great thing to have for those chilly mornings so your horse's muscles don't um, tighten uh, when they get cold. Heart rate monitors are a great tool to have because you want to be able to see exactly what your horse's heart rate is doing as you're riding. Um, I like to have a sponge and a sponge leash when I'm riding. That way when I go through a creek crossing, I don't have to get off my horse to dunk my sponge. I just let it drop into the water. And I like to wet my sponge before I start my ride. That way it, it actually sinks into the water and doesn't float on top. Next, I'd like to talk about the Easy Boot Glove Horse Boot, our top selling horse boot. It's great to bring along as a spare tire, whether your horse is shod or not. And I like to use a synthetic breastplate when I ride. I prefer a breastplate over a breast collar because it goes, the strapping goes up the shoulder versus a breast collar that will go across the shoulder and interfere with the horse's movement. I also like to use a synthetic bridle. I happen to use a bitless bridle, but halter bridles are very popular. Um, you can easily remove your horse's bit and then instantly have a halter available. Next, um, I just wanted to feature, or just show you, um, the crew bag. This gear bag is great for everything you need to bring for your horse, including feed, grain, treats, and electrolytes. So that was just a look at a few essential items to bring with you on an endurance ride. For a more extensive list, please visit our blog at ridingwarehouse.com. Thank you.